Hello guys, it's Nate and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm opening up Fusion Strikes. I know almost nothing about this set except for one card, and that's Mew. Other than that, let's see what I get. Hopefully I see some Mews. Alright, so I kind of lied. I know of a Gengar VMAX that's also in here. But to be honest, other than the Mew, and the only reason I know about the Mew... Strictly because of a wicked deck of Mew V Strike, which is going to phase out in a couple months. Thankfully, I do not enjoy playing the deck, even though I play Roaring Moon. And Roaring Moon has a decent chance against it. But, yeah. I'm just very excited for rotation. Although the Mew deck is very cool, and I do very much enjoy playing against it. But I'm a big fan of change. So, we'll start out with the ETB first. Just want to get the big product out of the way. Always pack trick in these Sun and Moon cards. Or, Sword and Shield. And to be honest, I am not looking forward to the, uh, to the pull rates. I'm always terrified when it comes to this stuff. So, Steel Energy, Nine Tails, Farewell Bell, Lone Bunny, Vulpix, Melton, Toxel. Star you, Mawile, Mantine, and Mel Metal Foil. Um, I I remember reading that the hit rates were like astoundingly bad when it came to this. It was like one EX card or V card for their age, Water Energy, um, and it was just. People were upset. And then they went into the polar opposite when it came to, like, Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet and Violet, insane pull rates. But, that I guess that's the value difference between the two. Ooh, black card card. So, I am excited. Hoping for just something decent. Hey, Dark Energy. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite energies. Always going to be grass over it, though. So, uh, come on. Ooh, went a little too fast there, Nathan. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Full Art Serena V. She is one of my favorite Pokemon in Pokemon Unite. But unfortunately, when it came to this set, not so much. I do not like her. But she looks amazing. So... Um, I do know Mew V with it rotating out because I was just watching regionals today and that deck was still terrifying. It was still just tearing up the meta like it always does. So I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm always excited with rotation, especially with an extremely powerful deck, but the deck was just too quick, too consistent, drew too much. I guess technically another Fusion Strike card is also Genesect V, which that would be nice to see, actually. When I want to build a deck, not with this close to rotation, guys. So you got about three months, two months away, actually, for rotation, and it's just not worth it. Ooh, Dancer Foil looking cool, and Dragon Pult Foil. I guess technically a hit is just those foils because you just get the plain rares too. Maybe that's why the hit rates are just so bad. It's just like, they just count that. Fire Energy, Primate, Zarud, Delcaddy, Mantyg, Rookity, Dermaka, Sizzlepede, Scuffle, Clorsula, and Toxicroak. All right, only two packs left from this. We got a decent hit with the four. She looks cool. I know she isn't worth much, so I'm not gonna get much trade value if I wanted to. But at least she's fun to see. Charge Bug, Judge, very powerful supporter card. I'm so glad that that's staying in rotation. Uh, oh, Genghis Kong. Genghis Kong looking cool though. Ballerina dancing style, even its kid in its pouch is doing that style. Last pack. 
I see a white code card. I don't expect last pack magic here, boys. Steel Energy, Metapod, ironically, the VIP Battle Pass is probably the best pull I've gotten today. That card is amazing. That card is rotating out, and that makes me even more sad than this pack just not being that good. So, we're going to do this little mini Fusion Strike bundle as well. It's only three boosters, which is weird. 151... Pretty much all the ones from the Paldean region are all like six booster bundles. So I find it odd that this one also had three. I do believe it's... No, I don't even think it has six. I think they started doing the six right around Silver Tempest. At least that's what it feels like. All right. Fighting Energy, Victini, Electric, Dunsparce, Phantom, Snorlax, Swamp. Streepy, Mantyke, uh, Dracolock, and Luxray. The sad electric cat. <sighs> I, I decided to try to go back and see if I could have some better luck. Lately, Pokemon hasn't been my lucky streak. Oddly enough, Lorcana has been there for me when it comes to this. So, I thought maybe just going back a little bit might help. Doesn't seem to be Jigglypuff, Durant. Uh, all right, can I? At least I got the goodest boy. Last pack. Let's see if last pack magic overall. Ooh, we got a black code card. So we're looking for Gengar V Max. We're looking for any of the Mews. Normal Mew. No, uh, Mew V Max. Heck, even a Genesec V would be nice. And, oh, Deoxys Foil. Has all three strikes, though. That's interesting. Well, guys, other than the Serena V and a VIP Battle Pass, these were quite sad. I The hit rates are just so bad. Rotation is happening soon, guys. If you do have them and you're a trader and you just want to get rid of them, I suggest you do it. If you're a collector, hold on to them. Some of these cards will definitely see value increases. How many of them? Tough to say. I hope you guys had fun watching my very sad pools, but hope hopefully you enjoyed the journey. Have a great day, guys. Peace.